ఐ వెల్కమ్ మై సెలెక్ట్ వ్యూవర్స్ టు మై ఎయిటీ సెవెంత్ వీడియో ఆఫ్ మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ రైటర్ సంధానం స్పీక్స్ టుడే ఇస్ ఆరాధన డే ఆఫ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ ప్రొఫౌండెస్ట్ సేజెస్ ఇండియా హ్యాస్ ప్రొడ్యూస్డ్ హిస్ నేమ్ ఇస్ యూజీ కృష్ణమూర్తి ఐ హెడ్ ఆల్రెడీ పుట్ అవుట్ ఎ ఫ్యూ సెపరేట్ వీడియోస్ ఆన్ యూజీ కృష్ణమూర్తి whom i had personally know today i am going to submit my talk to his memory the caption is if you are a gaudapada i will discuss with you das speak to uji krishnamurthy india that is bharat is a country of sages under teachings whether it is rishis of upanishad buddha ramana ramakrishna guru nanak and tamil siddhas it has ever remained their guru desam showing the impermanence of the material wealth and the permanence of the spiritual health the british imposed the english language on indians and india in turn subjugated it by packing into it the wisdom of the ages and it's the sages one such recently lived sage who exposed to english to the indian wisdom is yug krishnamurthy endearingly called by us as yug upon whom i stumbled in the year 2003 at bangalore at the residence of his lifelong host mr chandrasekhar and the person who introduced me to yug in his last years was my then government boss mr frank morona i am grateful to both of them as i was introduced to the human wilderness as described by the author louis brawley in his book no more questions the final travels of yug krishnamurthy i was labeled an an idiot by the sage when i raised the question what is the meaning of life though i did not know the meaning of life i knew the meaning of idiot in spiritual parlance it is termed as ignorance which is nothing but the absence of wisdom later i went on to translate the book yug krishnamurthy a life into tamil the original book yug krishnamurthy was written by the famous film director and producer mr mahesh bhatt who was also not spared by yug i have graced my youtube series with the series of yug statements besides producing separate videos on him now i dedicate one more video on him on his aradhana day he passed away on this day that the 22nd march in 2007 at a remote town called valle crozia of italy he lived an ordinary man and died an ordinary death but his statements were extraordinary one such statement was how is it that you chaps have questions when i have none all your silly questions are born out born out of your silly answers you already have when your answers disappear the questions also go with them he further said that is your enemy look at the flower he added and also the animals they simply live their lives and fade away but look at man though he also dies ultimately he always lives in misery he jokingly continued you are a walking misery talking misery sitting misery and living misery but yug also like the thinking misery as he was went about asking the meaning of life whether moksha or liberation existed till his 49th year when he by chance stumbled upon man's natural state in sanin valley of susalan 
which experience was la, was not according to him a bliss or moksha as he expected but it turned out to be as he later jokingly called a calamity what man had known felt and experienced had gone out of my system uj described adding further after that what remained was the beat the pulse and the throb of life he replaced the uh, words the ultimate with the life force and called it man's primordial state with no primitivity somewhere down the human history man felt he said that he was different from the rest of the species and then all hell broke out after that his statement that man is a virus is being proved by the global virus corona of which man is a medium as a tamil translator of the famous book the gospel of buddha by paul caras into tamil and grounded in tamil wisdom i knew the light hearted witticism of ug as well as his serious remarks of the enlightened sages like buddha and jesus who according to ug left disciples who created religions which ultimately ended in human quarrels and world wars in his biographical book lives of the english poets dr samuel johnson makes an observation and john milton the poet like this scarcely any man ever wrote so much and praised so few ug not only spoke so much but praised none always critical of sages and the enlightenment he said take it from me there is no enlightenment and that is the enlightenment you must know but i knew heart of heart he meant man's natural state in the place of enlightenment but the truth is not all on close scrutiny one could find ug had admiration for certain sages one among them is ramana maharishi with whom he had an encounter and later called him as a real mekai i have produced a youtube video on that too the other one was sri ramakrishna whom he endearingly called a madman he was commented do you know how sri ramakrishna spoke in abusive language later in the book the gospel of sri ramakrishna this abusive language was removed to maintain its decency ironically ug's words were no less abusive if you remove the words starting with the b from his talks one will miss many of his profound statements nobody took objection to it as it flowed from the sage with no venom attached but i am going to speak in some details about one more sage of the ancient age gaudapad whose name was dropped as a slip of the tongue by ug one day i raised some philosophical question with ug who in turn replied i will discuss with you only if you are a gaudapad this remark made me run immediately for gautapadas mandukya karika of the 10 major upanishads mandukya upanishads they say is the briefest and the best the biggest being bragadarini upanishads gautapada the forerunner of advaita wrote a karika that is a commentary on this upanishad it talks of the ultimate truth brushing aside the intermittent gods and the rituals calling the ultimate truth as atman brahman but it is nothing but the undivided consciousness beyond description nirvachana yuji said it is not even consciousness but for a want of a better word i use it according to gautapada atman and brahman is the truth and the rest is illusion the later sankara explained it as jagan mithya and brahma satya the 32nd verse of second chapter titled illusion from the manduka karika says this 
There is no dissolution, no birth, none in bondage, none aspiring for freedom, no seeker of liberation and none liberated. This is the absolute truth. This verse could be compared to Yuji's reciting a peanut rhyme whenever he was asked by the listeners to describe the, his so-called natural state. The cited rhyme is this. I do not know why it happened or when it happened or how it happened. I do not know even what happened. Did anything happen? The last sentence tells it all and explains the theory of non-creation of the world called the Ajatavata by Gautapada. This also tallies with Yuji's statements of no moksha, no enlightenment, no bondage and no liberation. There are also references to it in Tamil wisdom. Sage Thai Manavar in one of his poems, Paravara Kanni says, Maya Jagam Illayel Matru Yanakur Patri Illay Nani Ni and Ru and the Paravara. That is, if not for the Maya world, I would present myself before you, O Paravarame, telling you, I am you. Yuji used to say that I am different from you, never, never enters my head. Is there no difference really? Yes, there is a difference. In his, in his case, the calamity happened and idiocy was removed at once and at one stroke. But in my case, it is yet to happen and I, I am yet to have that luck. Hence, I continue to be an idiot, that is, an Agnani. Mandukya Ubanishad also says, the fourth state, Turiya, is the ultimate truth. All the three waking, dreaming, sleeping stages are illusions. UG asked a counter question when our friend Mohan of Bengal raised a question as to the awareness. The counter question by UG was, are you awake now? On another occasion, he echoed Gautapada when UG asked the audience, are you born? In the book, No Question by Louis Brawley, there is a revealing statement by UG. There, one irritated questioner tells UG, you are saying the same thing that is being said elsewhere. The reply by UG is, I read it out. That is right through centuries. And some damn fool comes along and says, you must preserve the teaching in the pristine purity. What he, what the hell has anybody discovered? I have not discovered anything new. That is all that I am saying. Now I want to add to UG's statement. My, my remark. Yes, Gaudapada too said the same today, same thing. But their discoveries were their own. The signature tune of Yuji's teaching is Shut up. He said it in Tamil too. Why a mood? Before shutting up my mouth, I would read out one more extraordinary statement of Yuji from the Yuji calendar designed by Madam Rajini. It is dated 22nd March. And that is the, that is today, and that is UG's Aradhana day. I read it out. In nature, there is no death or destruction at all. What occurs is a reshuffling of atoms. If there is a need or necessary to maintain the balance of energy in this universe, death occurs. There is no UG here. UG once said, referring to the eye. But everybody could listen now to this Sir Oracle voice of UG in the YouTube which the friends of UG had put out in good number in the YouTube. I think this is the only voice of a sage recorded so far. Time throws out a unique flower with big intervals and UG is that one unique flower. 
and i was lucky to enjoy its divine fragrance directly thank you